everybody. This is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the Southeast Asian server. Raw is back, going into first place in the PZ38NA list. Congratulations to him. We are in El Halouf encounter mode, North Spawn. El Halouf just always seems underrepresented in the Hall of Fame. It's a great scout map. It's a fun scout map to play. But for some reason, it just doesn't produce as many Hall of Fame missions as I as I think it should. And I don't know why that is, because you can pull up some monster scores on this map. There's lots of hiding spots. There's a decent amount of bush cover in the middle. It's kind of like steps with a big hole down the middle. And whereas steps has the, the bushes along the ridges at the, at the sides of the middle, here the bushes are in the middle. But either way, it's a fun map to play. This battle, a lot of lights on both teams. One artillery apiece. Heavy's at the top of the lineup, and we know pretty much where they're going to go. They're going to go over there that northwest corner and sit there and punch each other in the face. See who falls first. Meanwhile, the scouts get to run around and have fun. So it's a the light coming down the middle, he pulls into a bush so he doesn't get spotted. Nobody shoots at the guy though. There are 38 NAs up on the ramp and taking fire. You can see if you can get down into the middle here without being seen and set up in a bush, you get a, a wide area of the enemy side of the map that you can spot. Tempting target, but unlike in Malinovka last battle where you saw him fire a lot while passing, he's not doing it here. Guy's only 112 meters away. If he fires, he gets seen, so he doesn't shoot this time because he doesn't want the enemy to know he's here yet. Now once the, his spots kind of die out and they either move off or get killed and there's not as many tanks remaining in the battle, then you may see him start to shoot if he stays here. We're at an arty. It's not to hold off yet. Why that T-20 thought it was a good idea to cap right then with so many enemy tanks nearby, I'm not certain. But it definitely didn't work out for him. Now we sense potentially a hole in the middle here. Pulls forward but spots the stug right away. The medium is behind him. We need to really start shooting things. They're like just wasting all the spots right now because they aren't firing at anybody. 
I don't know what they're doing back there. There's several tanks that should be dead be now, by now. They're down five tanks at the moment. Things are starting to become bleak because they totally got blown away in the northwest corner. At some point, he's going to have to start shooting just because the rest of his team isn't. Another time a blind shot gets a kill. Enemy armor is damaged. They're knocked out. And another, he's gonna have to go around the corner here pretty soon. Ooh, that guy sees him. Seven to twelve, down five tanks. up to three kills to win the fight he's he's probably gonna need help but he's gonna have to do the lion's share of the damage right now these mediums haven't really appeared to want to fight all that much Kill number four, and here comes the TD across the way. Kill number five. M4 thankfully misses the shot. Top guy in the heads was coming in. Get around him. Uh, PZ-38 isn't known for being a heads out. The heads are known for killing people with one shot. So. And he gets him. Here comes the other PZ. And a heavy. Time to get out of here. Eight. Right now he's just trying to get away from the heavy and get some distance so he can conceal and move to a different spot. And coming over here to also reset cap if he can. Oh, the tree slows him down and he takes another shot. He really needs that medium to help him out. The guy's off in nowhere land doing nothing. He's not in a good situation because these two tanks just have to look at him to kill him now. And he's not getting any help from his teammate. I don't know what his teammate's doing as a matter of fact. Like, what the heck, dude? Help. The only good thing is if he gets away, there's a couple different places he can go and shoot at with help from bushes and use his view range to try to knock these guys down slowly.
so he's searching for him, just trying to light him up and hopefully reset Cap. The medium on his team is over there just hiding behind the rocks, doing absolutely providing no support at all. There's a reset. He needed that. He's going to try to pound this guy down a little bit more. If he can spot it, he can go right behind this tank for cover. And then sneak off to another location. Now he's spotted. He has to back up. He can't afford to take a hit because that finally the scout is coming in to help. Man, that was like 24 hours too late. And blast the uh, OI and gets a full reset on cap. They got a lot of time now. Let's go, Skoda. Get over there. Don't come in from the same angle. We'll go around the other side of the hill. So he pulls around the other way and sees the OI experimental. Not a good angle to shoot at, but... Hits it right on the turret ring. It gets damage. Skoda, meanwhile, is busy just watching. <laughs> oh. Battles like this make you just want to choke people. It's like, come on, dude, help. KV1S is showing a little bit of tank. And now the OI is coming straight for him. Come on, let's go to tear him up, tear him up. He's not paying the Skoda any attention at all. He may have to die because of it. Yes. Now, what I would do right now is wait to see which way the Skoda's going. And I would go the other way. Because I guarantee you, no matter which way I go, if I go first, the, the medium's going to go the same way as me. Because he doesn't understand how this works. We didn't even scratch them. Down to a minute. 57 to go. Skoda's on cap behind that little mound of dirt, so he's not able to get any more cap points. KB1S, that is. It allows Raw to move around here to the opposite side. Oh, and they die. And Raw's saying, well, you can't cap. At this point, you can't finish cap. I'm going to try to take you out. Bam! Dead and game. He ends up with... 2,087 damage and 9 kills. 55 of 62, that's 88% shooting. Got 728 points of assisted damage, 8 spots, lost 27,366 credits, 100 points of cap defense. Survived the fight, got Top Gun, High Caliber Defender, medals along with Bruiser, Arsonist, Duelist, and Fire for Effect, many medals. And if you're fairly new to the game and you're not understanding why he doesn't get a Radley Walters because he got 9 kills, it's because he's tier 4. And so it doesn't count. He ends up with 2,621 XP 
and a first place battle score of 2,711. And you saw how he moved down here into the middle. Where was he at? Over here into the middle. And was able to spot from here all the way over to here. Gave his team a lot to shoot at. Unfortunately, the medium here and a medium here kind of sat there and didn't really take advantage of it all. Or this wouldn't have been a close fight the way it ended up being. In this, and unlike in Malinovka, the previous battle where he saw him shoot while he was passive, because the tanks that he had targets on a lot were so close to him, he would have gotten spotted when he fired, so he withheld his fire until later in the fight his team was falling behind, enemy was pushing the attack from over here and his tanks went past him. He reached the point where he just had to get involved offensively. It didn't matter if he got seen or not. He had to start shooting or he was going to end up so far behind in numbers that he wouldn't have been able to pull it out. And he recognized that and started shooting, stayed down here in the ditch a long time, got multiple kills down there, and then finally, because of the way the tanks were, he had to start moving around. At the end, he waited a long time while the Skoda just sat up here and didn't do anything. He kept resetting and resetting. The guy just sat up here and sat up here. Finally, he realized, hey, I could probably go help my PZ-38 and out, and he came down and did. And that was actually very t instrumental in the win because as the OI experimental came up here after him, the Skoda was allowed, able to shoot into his side and take him out. And then that set up the... Uh, the kill on the KV-1S at the end. This is just a matter of patience, recognizing that at some point you have to start shooting and start providing firepower because your team is just not up to the task. And you have to do it before you get so far behind that there's so many tanks that you can't get away with a comeback. In this case, kind of pushed the edge, but at the same time, there was a lot of tanks down here that would have seen him if he fired, and if he had done it any sooner, he probably would have gotten overrun. So he chose the perfect time to start shooting and from there he was able to carry his team to a victory. Think about how long he waited in the fight to fire and he still ended up with nine kills. That's crazy. Especially when he had all those spots. His team should have been all over it, but they weren't. Sometimes you, you end up being the hero because of the way the battle turns out. Other times like this, you just have to say, if we're going to win, I'm going to have to take over the fight. And he has the skill to do it. Ends up in first place. Happy hunting.